And we've got to shift in the body of Christ. This has never been about religion. It has never been about church. It has not even been about preaching. It has not even been about singing and songs. This has been about God doing something in Christ that he purposed way back in Adam. And that is to have children in the earth realm in his image after his likeness with dominion so that they could have authority on the earth in that even though you are born flesh and blood by your mama and your daddy you were born again in your spirit by the spirit of almighty God and when you get born again you no longer just identify with your mama with your natural daddy you now switch into a brand new identity that I'm also a son of the living God and when you get that revelation the gates of hell (laughs) won't prevail against you when you understand who you are it is over for the devil (laughs) be seated I got two more minutes to work this No, I got one more minute. And so when you are looking at Jesus, and I'm reading all that, and I see these signs shall follow them. Who are them? It ain't them church folk. It ain't these religious people. No, no, no. Them, them, them would be the sons and daughters of the living God. Listen. I am so fed up with the church dealing with all of the mess the world is dealing with. Out there, there's so much division and strife and racism and all this. And I'm telling you, the church got mad at me, but I'm to the point where I just don't care. We out here fighting over skin color and women. Oh, God. Wonder about who's better, who's this, who's that, who's that. I'm black, I'm white, I'm that. Let me tell you what I am. I'm a son of the living God. And I don't care nothing about the color of my skin because my identity is greater than Africa. It's greater than Europe. It's greater than Asia. My DNA runs all the way up to the throne of Almighty God. And you will get nothing from God because you white. And you will get nothing from God because you black. You will get everything from God because you are a son. (laughs) And when you're a son of God, you don't even fight that stuff. Because do you mean to tell me there are not racist, Pastor Petrie? Do you mean to tell me we're not supposed to fight racism? No, that's not what I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I don't care. You want to know why? Because if God be for me... (laughs) Who can be a bring it on, baby? You can't bless what you can't curse what God is blessed. You can't stop me. I'm an heir of God, a joint heir with Christ. And if don't nobody else get blessed, I'm gonna be blessed in the city and blessed in the field and blessed coming out and blessed going in. That ain't my identity. I'm a son. Of the living God. I gotta quit. Stand up on your feet. I gotta go. We gotta go. Stand. That ain't enough for y'all. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Cause I gotta get this in you. I gotta get this in you. The church. I got so much else to preach. But it would take a week. And Pastor Kelly gonna. Preach the rest of it. (laughs) Something's got to happen to you. And me. In the next five minutes. The gates of hell. Are 
are defeating us and stopping us because we don't know who we are. Jesus says, I didn't come to earth to reveal to you some rabbi, some teacher. He said, that's what I, everybody called me. But what I came to show you was what a son looks like in the earth who knows that God is his father. <laughs> Y'all, I keep saying this because I want to keep renewing your mind. Because see, if you don't get this revelation, you will sing about him and still not be able to trust him. You'll pray and still won't be able to trust him because all of these things we've done like a religious calisthenics that we have to do to like reach him and get him to respond. When you realize that you are a son, you wake up in the morning in his presence. You don't have to do nothing to get there. When you talk to him, you don't talk to him like, oh, Father, thou art. You talk to him like, that's my daddy. How he not, he, my daddy is <laughs> Jehovah Jireh. And I'm worried about my light beam. worried about dying young uh -uh. oh no but you'll never believe it you'll never be able to receive it if you don't switch this thing from some type of religious until you switch until like Peter it hits you I'm a son of the living God. Hallelujah. Your relationship with God has nothing to do with any of this external stuff we've been trying to do. You can try it. Your faith won't even work. The moment it hits you, I'm his child. I'm his child. I'm a son of the living God. Something will hit you what Paul calls the spirit of adoption. That's when you know that you know that you know that you know. I got this thing. God's my daddy and I'm his child and there ain't nothing the devil can do with me. I wish he would show up. The gates of hell does not prevail against people who are built on this rock. Lift your hands. Say, Lord, build me on the rock. Oh, let it sink way deep on you. I don't know what you've been through. I don't know how long you've been through it. I don't know what the enemy has been doing in and out of your life. I know the enemy attacks us. He attacks our minds, our bodies, our families, our children, our finances. He does all that because he hates us. He hates us. But when you realize who you are, the gates of hell shall not prevail against you. You tell the devil to get out of your house, to get out of your mind. You take your authority and like Jesus, you cast out devils. You're going to have to fight. He's after your inheritance. He's after you. He's out to steal your destiny. And you can't let him do it. 
the devil's coming after the church. He's coming after the nation. He's coming out. The, but I'm telling the devil, he can't have it. He can't have it. As long as we're here, he can't have it. He can't have it. And he might as well get ready because whatever we bind on earth. <laughs> oh, come on now. That's in that. Whatever we loose on earth, it is loose. And we've got to believe in our authority. Father, I release the spirit of adoption in this house. Jesus, thank you for becoming a man to show us our humanity and yet show us our divinity. To show us what is possible to have. My God, deliverance is happening in this building. There's somebody on my left side. You're up in the balcony. You have been dealing with clinical depression. It just snapped off you like a button off of a shirt. Oh, somebody thank God for it. You got 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 it. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. Devil, you're not going to have my mind. I'm a child of the living God. Great shall be my peace. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. You are under our feet. <laughs>